Hello, hello! Today is May 13th, 2012 and you're watching Orgoth Weekly number 74. I'm Lucas Orsvern. I'm Anton. <laughs> and I'm Morton. And uh, today, or what I say, this week I should say, uh, the wolf just got a whole lot more badass. I can tell you that much. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm just gonna jump right into this video because it's it's pretty great. Oh, and of course those videos are messed up there, so never mind that. <laughs> so, Lovely. Yeah, the big difference here is the the wolf is just large. He's just big. You finally get the scale of him. That's very nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's very impressive to see to see them side by side, and he's still using rabbit animations, but with his new um, rigging, you know, he feels much more like the character should feel. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I fully agree. I like how like his running is even slowed down. Uh, the animation when he runs is slowed down compared to the rabbits, just because he's you know he has longer legs and he still should move at the same speed. So it's just. Yeah, it looks really great. He so improved the retargeting of the animations, which means that he can uh, adapt the animations in a better way to the to the character model. Right. It, it's so much more satisfying. I was playing the patchy the patchy Highlands, I think it was the other day, and you now running around and kicking rabbits with with the wolf is just so much more satisfying now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it really is. Totally agree. She feels so much like a badass. So yeah, the wolf character has been improved, and I guess this uh, paves the way for uh, even more uh, improvements on the characters. Um, you know, now he has a new rig in the game, and uh, I'm wondering, uh, people have been having kind of trouble with getting their own custom rigs into the game, but this is a separate rig, right? That's what I. That's how I understood it, at least. That's what I understand also. So yeah, I think that this could be a sign that custom rigs will at least be easier to modify from these existing rigs to get them into the game. So um, hopefully what David did was he, he recorded what he did and, uh, um, and, and maybe made a tutorial or something so that people could see how he created the new rig or something that we could maybe see in the modding section at some point. Yeah, that would, would be, be good. cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's this week's alpha. Of course, lots of other stuff was added as well, but that was the coolest and biggest feature <laughs> this week. And uh, we'll keep on moving with the show. So next up, we have uh, the community segment, in which we take a look at what's the, what the community has been up to as of late. And uh, the first one here is the fan art watch, just as usual, where we take a look at what people have been drawing in the welfare community. So let me bring the image up right there. So we have not a whole lot of fan art this week. We do have though um, Morton, your uh, image at least, and uh, three images from uh, Play Retarder. Yeah. <laughs> so do you, yeah. since it's your image, is there? I guess you can just talk about it, Morton. Um. Okay. <laughs> it's a. Uh, it started out very, very differently. The the Photoshop file is still named after the old image, which was like a bar barbarian bunny. Like, it was inspired from Conan the Barbarian. And the old sketches were still underneath. Um, but then, I don't know, I decided it wasn't really interesting enough. So I I wanted to do something different. So I wanted to do differently from what I did before, which was just a character. So I thought I'd put him in an environment. And, and um, yeah, just sort of evolved from there. And this this last week I've been really busy with with school and stuff, so I really wanted to finish this yesterday for today. So some stuff may be a bit rushed and stuff, but I I just wanted to get it over with. But yeah, yeah, yeah. A dog being killed by I don't know a rabbit or something. <laughs> it's a really really cool image. It's uh yeah very very well done. And of Thanks. course uh, we shouldn't forget a play retarder who made these three characters there. Of course on the right side. Just like a king, a like guard character, god rabbit character, and uh, some assassin-like character, like a raider, I think it was. Yeah, I know there was a lot of talk on, on like the f fan art um, form about, about the the last guy looking like a rabbit version of Jon Snow or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. 
So yeah, that's the fan art watch for this week. You guys, uh, we're getting low on fan art, so you should probably start making some more. Just a little <laughs> hint right there. Just, uh, just, just do it, man. <laughs> I think I think I love... we're missing some from Shiny Tim again. That was he was he was very active at one point. Yeah. 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 yeah, we need Shiny Gem back. <laughs> well, for a while he dominated the fan art thread, so... Yeah. yeah. He owned it. Um, it was pretty much his thread. Oh man, those were the days. <laughs> <laughs> yes, something like that. Yeah. So next up we have a, a, a thing from the forums. We have Overgrowth Digest by Law. So this guy in the forums called Law um, is starting to kind of write up a uh, kind of newspaper style uh, news outlet I guess mm -hmm. I think it's a very cool media for you know for people who are just like oh let's just check what's what's happening right now and if you can keep it up I think it's gonna be very 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 good yeah right the format that he's using is interesting because it is sort of a news thing but he also kind of writes with a a little comedic twist you know it's it's not it's not super serious it's it's a little bit fun a little bit playful and 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 yet it has a lot of information so i really see it being a, a pretty cool thing so yeah. you know hopefully he keeps going with that yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty much i think it's uh, it, it's good writing and uh, you know it's interesting stuff of course to us since we're very interested in overgrowth. Um, so, yeah, maybe we'll see a website or, or something. I would appreciate that at least. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I think I, I suggested a website and maybe even a blog, but he seemed to want to keep it inside of the SPF, so we might not see it in such a public venue most of the time. So we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know there were some discussions on there about you know keeping it in the SPF so the public wouldn't read too much about it and stuff but i don't know i think i think getting it public would be very nice actually yeah i i kind of think any news is good news you know yeah, any exactly. publicity is good publicity so <laughs> yeah i think so too and i actually think since there really is nothing like this out there at the moment i think he has a a pretty good chance of actually getting readers on the site as well since yeah. it's, it's something that's not done already right exactly so best of luck uh, to Law with that. Next up we have a community item browser by Morris. So Morris actually, or what should I say? Someone on someone rec uh, someone told him that he want, would like a community item browser, and uh, that would be kind of like a community tab in the item browser where like all items from different community members would be available for you to use in the game. Mm -hmm. And so he put up kind of a poll, and people could tell him if they wanted a community browser. I don't know why you would not want a community item browser. <laughs> that seems like a pretty awesome thing to me. Yeah. Yep. And of course, there are like, yeah, everyone says, yeah, I want a community item browser. Except for one dude who's like, nah, I'm sticking to vanilla overgrowth. <laughs> well, that's you know, probably okay. people like that, so it's, yeah. Um, yeah. So, community item browser. You kind of talked to this guy, didn't you, Anton? Do you, did you do you have anything planned with this? Oh, 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 yes. Um, actually, uh, it's it's already ready to go. Um, but in case you guys couldn't tell, I'm um, I'm not at home at the moment. I'm at my parents' house, uh, and as soon as I get home from here, uh, I will merge it actually with the the um, menu mod for um, and and so it'll actually be part of some launcher, and it will automatically download. So we're going to add all of the custom items to the menu mod as well as a new <laughs> menu. So we're just going to make everything bigger. We're going to force you to have all the community content <laughs> until we get <laughs> until we get a little more control over how people download community content. So it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Weren't you? Yeah. But didn't you mention that you were also working on something something similar? Well. You know, some, some OG Utilities, which is sort of the continuation project of the menu mod, is going to be an in-game uh, in -game browser and item loader and mod loader as well as map loader. Um, and, and actually, Morris is, is uh, helping out on that team as well as uh, Aaron and uh, Johannes. And we're, we're building something that will eventually be much more 
direct. You can, you, if you want to download something, you click on it, and it downloads to your computer from in-game. Um, whereas uh, what we're doing now, you know, you sort of are forced to load everything all at once. You don't get to pick and choose. Yeah. Um, and uh, but but it since it's kind of similar, it's it's in the same vein. We are sort of moving forward with the idea, and they will be integrated at some point together. So. Uh, it's coming. It's coming. Uh, our our lead developer on some OG utilities has a week of finals left. So once that is over, we will start to see a lot more development on that front. So cool. it will it will be good soon. So yeah, absolutely. I'm really looking forward to the to this project kind of moving forward and you know getting finished because this is such a great project. <laughs> well, it unfortunately it unfortunately we started it and we had a really good strong start uh, over the sort of winter holidays and and we were going strong for the first couple of months and then everyone became really busy with school since most of my team is still in school and so that's when we sort of slowed down but um you know certain aspects of it we've been able to keep updated and and it'll be good soon again <laughs> cool cool yeah so yeah a uh, community item browser we can see it in your main menu mod soon then i guess uh, yeah, probably probably Tuesday, uh, Tuesday U.S. time would be my guess. So um, that'll be Wednesday for some of you guys. Cool. cool. Yeah. So next up, we have a level called the Murder of Apaul, and it's created <laughs> by Character Matter. So let's see if we can bring that up there. Um, did you guys play this level? Yeah. I played it just uh, a couple hours ago before coming on here, mm -hmm. and uh, it was this was very nice. A very simple level, but just the fact that you know you you can explore different areas of the game. You get rewarded for you know exploring, and there are different approaches. You can do like the stealth one, or you can kill everyone, and I, it was very well balanced actually. I liked it. Yeah, I pretty much have the same feeling. It's like a big open map, and all the structures are so big as well, and just give this very grand feeling to the entire level, which is, uh, yeah, it just makes it feel very huge and and and, yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, it looks amazing. I, I actually haven't had a chance to play it yet, but um, I'm very uh, excited to uh, to play it and add it to the menu mod. It's not there yet. <laughs> Um, it that he he uploaded it. I think about four hours after I left my house for the weekend. <laughs> Aww. So yeah. Um, but it it looks very cool. Yeah, it is very cool. And uh, so the story of the level is kind of like um, you're this dude who is captured by some raider raiders, and uh, then um, they also kidnap your kid. And your mission here is to break out of the prison, which isn't really the hard part, and then go take back your kid. It reminds me a lot of, uh, I don't know if anyone ever played uh, The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Uh, in the fortress mission, where you have to save your sister, you know, you escape, you escape from prison and you have to get to the top of the fortress. It's, it's very similar. In the, I mean, in a good way. It's very awesome. Yeah. yeah, I do remember that. And it's actually, when you mention it, it's kind of... It is uh, similar, especially yeah. considering the fortress. It's uh, it's uh, pretty much basically <laughs> about the same size. It feels like it's so. Yeah. Huge. <laughs> and you know, you get up there and you get uh, you get a knife instead of a sword, and all that's really missing is is some water and a huge bird, and uh, we're there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So this is um, the. Uh, um, this is the murder of a Paul, created by Character Matter. A really cool level. You should totally, totally check it out if you haven't already. Available on the forums and soon, I guess. How soon, Anton? In the main menu mod? I get home late Monday night, so sometime on Tuesday for me. <laughs> All right, cool. So look forward to that. And uh, next up on the agenda, we move on to the community side note segment, which is kind of like the community segment, but we try to take it a bit quicker. So, let me start the video for this as well, so you guys can see something, uh, something cool. Oh man, I need to get faster at switching these things. Alright, so first up, we have SamJB1992, who updated his lone soldier level to make it work for more people. 
But uh, yeah, this was here last week too, if I remember correctly. And uh, yeah, yeah, I still can't get it to work on my computer for some reason, which is silly, of course. But uh, yeah, hopefully it'll work for me too soon. It's it's really odd that it's not working because it is working for me. Um, and uh, the level is sort of interesting. I um, y you you kind of run around and there's a lot of really. Uh, evil characters <laughs> they're pretty they're they're really like some of them are pretty intense and he has a lot of his custom weapons in which he's sort of known for making and um there's some spots that without even telling you you just die <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was kind of a surprise you know run up there and just like wait what <laughs> yeah i was like oh it's so pretty i want to go see what that is oh i'm dead <laughs> oh. um. <laughs> well you know that happens in real life sometimes <laughs> for sure, like for, for well, sure. Before you know it, you like fall and hit your head on a rock or something. It's just realistic, man. But I, I actually I had problems with it uh, on my PC as well. But uh, it runs fine on my Mac, so maybe maybe that's the hmm. like, maybe that's the problem. I don't know, but yeah. Yeah, that's a possibility. Well, hopefully I will be able to play it uh, soon at least, and um, yeah, then I, I can make a cool video and show it finally <laughs> on, on <Ultra laughs> weekly. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, next up we have a level by Mr. Otten called Carrot Gym, and uh, yeah, it was released, uh, well it's not a level, it's like a, yeah, he released a level very recently called Kick the Rabbits, and uh, he released it together with one of his older levels called American Football, and as you can probably hear, that's kind of a theme, and so it seems like he's intending on making a uh, sports level series for Overgrowth. <laughs> nice. Uh, so yeah, he um, he's looking for new ideas as to what new sports levels he can make. So if you have any ideas, or if you have a sports level map made, uh, just post it in that topic. And, so now uh, we're we're headed towards like Wii Sports Resort just for <laughs> uh, just for overgrowth. That would be pretty cool. Uh, with, you know, with the scripting system and everything, so every yeah. every aspect of the game is there, but it's like everything's super gory instead of super cute. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd yes. enjoy that. <laughs> uh, so next up we have Karen on the forums, who made a level called Assassination Knight, uh, which is a mix of parkour and combat. And uh, mm -hmm. that's the level in the video you're looking at right now. And it comes it's in... Yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say it's kind of an interesting form of of um, parkour too, uh, because the the way that the blocks are laid out, it's not exactly like um, a perfect fit all the time. You know, you definitely kind of have to really hit some weird angles to make it it work. But what were you gonna say about the two iterations? Yeah, exactly. Um, it comes in two difficulties. So yeah, one is um, one is like hard and one is medium, I guess. But uh, both of them are are quite hard. So if you're not good at the game, I don't think this is a good uh, a good level to start out with. But uh, cool levels, nonetheless. Yeah, it's funny. I actually find the hard level to be easier than the the normal one, um, which. Uh, uh, Karen and I were talking, and uh, I think that he and I just have different ways of playing the game. And so uh, what's easy for me is maybe not necessarily easy for someone else and vice versa. So um, it's interesting that way. It also makes me wish that there were multiple pathways where you can sort of, you know, if you watch people play and watch how they play, you can make things that are difficult for them or easy for them to do. So yeah. um, it's almost kind of good if you want to develop maps for overgrowth, you should maybe watch videos of people playing and, and what they do and how they play and force them to do something different, you know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's one thing I found uh, especially, um, you know, playing, I played this level earlier today, and, um, you know, you get up there, you follow the path and, and stuff, and, and it's fine, it's it's a very nice level, but um, doing multiple paths and, and trying to reward it, actually doing, like, thinking through a level design gets, it's super hard, and it's very hard to keep interesting all the way, um, I know I'm struggling a lot with the level I'm doing right now to try to keep it interesting and try to keep a balance between, you know, rewards and 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 what happens if you go one way and can you go back? No, you have to continue that way. But yeah, it's well, yeah, just watch people play Overgrowth and see how they play. <laughs> right. Exactly. 
So, so. yeah, Assassinations Night, Assassination Night. Two levels, two difficulties, uh, but this still quite hard. But yeah, check it out if you want to. Cool level. Yeah. And next up, we have. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we have Last Blood mod, of course. So Last has updated his blood slash no death mod for the latest alpha. And uh, Morris updated his mod mod as well to work with the latest alpha. Mm -hmm. And that's the uh, community side notes for this week. So let's move on to the new segment. Uh, first up there, we have Art Asset Overview number 31. So let's, uh, let's check it out. Art Asset. Art asset nice. Overview. This video, I'll be taking a look at the new level that I've been working on and some of the assets that I've had to create or change in order to make it. For several months, I've been working towards the goal of making more complete looking levels that have better gameplay. And in order to achieve that goal, I've had to. That was actually a lot kind of, of funny when I was looking assets. through the. Uh... I've also had to create some new things here and there and to better well, utilize the systems that I we submitted had in my place, level for example, Forest Hills and practically at the same time Orby also submitted his or whatever which was also Forest underscore on. Hills and, and for a period there was like texture, but it what, what's happening with the name now <laughs> some of the current engine features a bit better yeah that's uh, that's pretty fun actually for example the original trunk on the left is tinted a dark color but the new one is designed to be tinted in the editor, and so it's much lighter. You can make it whatever color you want. Also, because it uses detail textures, I can scale it to whatever size I like, whereas the old one used a tiling texture that was set. Another feature of our detail textures is that it has seamless blending between different texture types. Finally, because it has object normal maps, and tiling normal maps, it has better overall shading. In addition to texture tweaks and minor updates for that level, I did a couple of sword scabbards, which you may have seen in David's recent alpha videos. I'll eventually make scabbards for a lot more weapons, but right now I just made a scabbard for the dog sword and the cat rapier. I did a couple of different color variations just to see how it would look. That's it for this week's Art Asset Overview. If you would like to try out the alpha, you can check out the game at wolffire.com slash preorder. Thanks. And yeah, that's the uh, alpha Art Asset Overview, as you say, for this week. Um, right. He shows off the new level, which is, um, yeah, if you have the uh, Overgrowth Alpha, you know that a version of this level, I don't know if it's the latest one, but a version of this level has been available for play. And uh, you guys have played <laughs> with some right? tweaking. Yeah, with some <laughs> tweaking. And and also a very strong computer, powerful computer is is necessary for it. So, uh, I I was actually going to comment, Morton. It's the file name is actually just one character different from a a level that Morton has included. And if he uh, if that had not been one level different, it would have overwritten your <laughs> your file when it updated. <laughs> So I hope it's, it's a reminder to everyone. You need to back up your files outside yeah. of the game. <laughs> Absolutely. So, yeah. So, what do you think about the level? Is it is it fun? I haven't played it myself. So. Uh, yeah. I I I have played through it. It's it's definitely very um, computer intensive. It has a lot of trees and a lot of rocks, um, but it it is does have a, also a lot of ground cover where it starts to really feel like hey, I could see this being a real location in a real place, and uh, this could become a final level as the as the game is sort of being developed. So, yeah. I mean, right now, it's, it's really just a small portion um, of the ground that's being being utilized for, like, you have some platforms with rocks and, and stuff, but it, it has a very nice feel to it, and mm -hmm. especially with the trees. The trees add so much. Yes. Um, also, the the level takes a very long time to load, and I know that uh, David was talking about the loading process. Uh, he's going to improve that and speed it up, and I think that uh, it's probably because of this level <laughs> that he decided to do that. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Now I finally got my answer as to why he did that at this very moment, like in the development. Yeah, so I that's think that's good. it. 
I think that's it. You know, no, no one, no one has confirmed that. That's just my own hunch. <laughs> it would be very nice because um, I'm sitting with my level at the moment, and it's you, know, you go and you delete the cache, and and you have to go and you load it back again. It converts from the TTA to the DDS format. It's like oh, okay, I have to wait again, and blah blah blah. blah. So hopefully, um, it'd be nice with some just a tiny speed up. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And well, it'll also be good for those levels that have a continuation onto a second level. Yeah. You know, so that you're not waiting so long, changing from level to level. Absolutely. Um, do you feel Do you feel the performance decrease since you have a very good computer, right, Anton? Uh. Well. Um. Do I? Oh, yeah. I mean, I yeah. I I get even as low as uh, three, two, and two and three frames per second on that level. Although in some spots I get sixty, so it's it's still a little. Hit or miss. Um, there, there seems to still be some something about certain areas of maps um, that that cause lag as well as uh, multiple objects, and also you know level of detail stuff yeah. will help uh, solve a lot of a lot of those kinds of issues when they get to the optimization stage. I've I've tested the uh, these past couple of days on different computers, and and one thing that seems to be a problem right now is. During ragdoll animation and and when the blood, you know, your blood gushing down and, and stuff on you, that, that seems to decrease performance quite a bit on some computers. Yeah. But definitely not on all. So I think no, no, that no. he's I think he's maybe doing some of that processing on the GPU. So uh you know, that's why right now uh having a good a good graphics card is essential for really running the game well. Yeah, I agree. It's uh, like I, I was just thinking since this um, this level is so demanding, maybe we will see some performance optimization soon as well, if we're lucky. One, it'll be one of those boring alphas, but you know, <laughs> boring alphas are often one of you know the most needed ones, I guess. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully I'm I'm kind of hoping for that actually, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, right. our test overview number 31 and a new level in the alpha, so if you didn't already know that, available in the main menu mod, right? It is correct. It is available there. Uh, as well as I had to I had to do some stuff to fix it. <laughs> there were some missing files. Yeah. So if you don't want to do that yourself, you should probably just get the main menu mod. It's the furthest to the right among the official maps. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I've I've kind of been maps that don't feel quite final f from Aubrey. I'm I'm keeping to the right hand side. Um, I might do that more as well as we go along, but um, you know, as, especially because it's such a performance hit on the computer. You know, I, I don't want most people to open the game and click on the first thing they see and then wait 15 minutes for a level to load that their computer can't run anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> not a good first impression. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just get the main menu mod and play the level if your computer is uh, is awesome enough. Exactly. Uh, next up we have a tweet from David uh, about uh, custom bokeh shapes. So let's take a look at that. And I left clicked on it. Oh man, it's bad. Alright, so... <laughs> uh, he asks, are there any conventional pr convenient programs for convolving an image by another image to see how that would look? And uh, yeah, he kind of hints at what uh, what he's going for there, um, and then he goes on to no wait a second did I forget uh, the rest of the tweets? Yeah. It, yeah. Yep, yeah, I forgot the rest of the tweets. Let's just go to <laughs> to his to his Twitter. <laughs> yeah. So he, he tweets anyways about custom bokeh shapes and uh, you know how he can uh, create a bokeh with a uh, custom shape on it and stuff. So we have right. an example with like a spider web effect for instance. I mean that'll be interesting to see because I know you know we, we, we get games nowadays like, like Crisis and, and Battlefield 3 and stuff with that's supposed to be like this represents how the human eye sees uh, sees the world and whatever which is just like the screen is just like a camera that's super dirty with weird kind of aperture bokeys with five and six sides and stuff, but it'll be interesting to see what he does with it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's always interesting when he is uh, researching his things. It's uh, <laughs> it's always always exciting. Like, maybe we'll get some cool depth of field bokeh effects in the game. I mean, that would be totally sweet. I'd be all exactly. 
it's a it's a good way to focus like i don't know if they're planning on having a, a conversation system or whatever but if you're having a conversation and and you focus in on the two characters and and you know their step of field and stuff in the background is blurred it's it's a really nice way to like close off and and focus on certain things yeah, yeah. absolutely and for ex uh, for instance you can also do it uh, since the levels will not be infinite you can have like a distance bokeh thing that you do to yeah. kind of make the terrain blur better together with the skybox background for instance yeah so yeah he could do a lot of things with this i'm I just kind of wondered i worried about not having seen this in a game before i haven't seen any bokeh in the game before so does take that even a look work? at uh, at at battlefield 3 oh, they, um, they have that? that that there's a lot in there um <laughs> um I, actually now that i think about it, i think there is uh, that might just be actually the artifacts on the screen. Um, check it out anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Bokeh Overgrowth maybe we'll see it uh, if uh, David uh, <laughs> manages to get it to work uh, well enough. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, next up is another tweet about threaded image uh, conversion that we kind of talked about um, just now earlier. Yeah. And he writes, moving TGA to DDS conversion into a background thread pool so that it doesn't interrupt level editing. So that'll make it much faster for you to like load objects of which you haven't converted the textures for yet into the format that the game uh, supports. Because uh, normally you have your textures in a TGA format, that's like the normal format, or you can have them in PNG or whatever. And usually when you load on an object, the game would freeze for the amount of time it took for it to convert it from the image format it was in to the image format that the game supports. But uh, now he's moving that to a different thread, so the game thread can run like on its own while the uh, texture is being converted at the same time. Is that like the thread of the CPUs? Yeah, non, not necessarily. <laughs> it's like if you have, you don't need to have hyper threading on your CPU for it to for you for it to work, okay. basically. But if you have, I think if you have two processors, like what I'm saying, two cores or more in your processor, I think it might move that to the second core automatically. I'm not sure about how that works, but um, yeah. Does the game currently support uh, like multi-threaded CPUs? Not really. I've, I've asked David about that, and he said that uh, it doesn't too much that there would be a lot of work involved, and uh, that um, it's something he kind of would have needed to do from the very beginning, and had reasons why it didn't really make sense to do it. So, I, he, he said, at one point to me, he said that there would be some potential multi-threading abilities, but uh, the main gameplay is probably going to all run on one core. Wouldn't it be better to have it on on several cores? Just if you can, wise? okay. If you can, but you know, so many of the it, uh, there's actually a video that um, Unknown Worlds released recently that's uh, worth checking out, where they talk about they were trying to uh, keep their server side and and, lo and uh, local player side. Um, processes happening on different cores, but that because the threads had to go talk back and forth between each other, that it actually became slower to have it trying to multi-thread. So it's, okay. it's, not, it's not an exact, easy, perfect science. You have to kind <laughs> of work at it <laughs> to make it work. So, mm. uh, But definitely, if it did work and it worked efficiently, then yes, in theory, uh, it would be a better way to work. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully we'll get we will get that. I mean, uh, didn't he? I'm not sure if I maybe forgot that is, but didn't he ask uh, someone about some multi-threading things recently on Twitter? Or is that um, just me being stupid? I, think, I, I, I mean, don't was, know. I think that was the uh, threaded image conversion, maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe. Oh, that was the Intel building whatever. Yeah, maybe. some Intel thing exactly. But I, I think, from what I understood, that was just like. Uh, like a C++ library of stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, um. anyway, anyways, so that's threaded <laughs> image conversion coming up in the game. It'll make your level editing faster and better. Uh, next up, we have uh, um, the interview that was aired a few weeks or maybe a month or two ago from AI Game Dev. It's uh, now available for I you. I have lost Silverfish. You, you have lost me? <laughs> you lost? I no longer hear me mumble. 
Oh, I don't know if you, you guys do. Oh, I, I hear him fine. Mm. Yeah. Uh, let me see if I can just... Anton? There's something wrong with you, Anton. Yeah. Oh, it's wrong with me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> Um, tell tell him to bring up his uh, con config settings and just hitting OK or something that works sometimes. Anyways, can you do that, uh, Morton? I can uh, hear you again. Oh, okay. you can hear me. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the interview from uh, from AI Game Dev that aired uh, a month or two ago, I think. Um, it's available for viewing now if you didn't watch it live. So yeah, just follow the link and go over to. You, you get over to this page and you'll be able to watch it. So mm -hmm. I think anyone who's interested in, you know, procedural animation and well, overgrowth should definitely check it out. Yeah. yeah. It is very interesting. So yeah, you should totally check it out if you're interested in, <laughs> if you're interested in overgrowth. Basically, if you're interested in in programming, I should say, in game development, and uh, some behind the scenes stuff for overgrowth. So that's cool stuff. Cool, cool stuff. And uh, last on the agenda, we have uh, Overgrowth on Linux update, and I still can't really talk about it, but uh, I can tell you that there is some Overgrowth on Linux news. Uh, if you pre-order the game, you can get into the SPF and uh, check out what's going on. And you should. Secret. Yes, you should. You definitely should. If you're interested in Linux and Overgrowth at the same time. Pre-order now. Yeah, pre-order now. <laughs> www.wolfire.com slash pre-order. <laughs> oh man, you just got that stored away there. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah. If you haven't uh, already, yeah. If you aren't already there, I should say um, you should check out ogweekly.com, our website there. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you next week. See you guys Bye. later. Bye.